because it's a combination of many layers of functionality that together make this happen. Of course on the machine layer there are many many systems that are needed like sensors to know where you are and where the machine is actually heading and so. Also actuators, you need to be able to steer the machine electronically for instance. And also computers that are running several algorithms so that the machine can follow and fulfill simple tasks like follow a route or, or um, maintaining a speed profile. On a higher level there are also uh, software that defines what each machine should do and specify these routes and what speed profiles that should be followed in order to meet certain like deadlines you should be at a certain loading spot at a specific time and so on. And even higher up you could see that there might actually be a system that coordinates the whole fleet together with manually operated machines so that you get a complete automation system. In addition you also need safety systems both on board and on the site level so that you actually get a system that is completely safe for people that are on the site. So that is really how you get a machine to drive without a driver. <laughs>